Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And I have a wonderful, I hope, present for you. We have, I intended this to go out when we hit 500 subscribers. And um, all of a sudden it just climbed, it hit, and it has kept climbing. Welcome to all of you new subscribers and definitely a uh, wonderful, a huge, heartfelt, warm thank you to all of those of you who have been here for a long time. And again, welcome to all of the newbies. So I wanted to give you a gift back to the community. And I have this book. It's from Albany Public Schools, 1894. And it was a gift to me from my daughter's mother-in-law, she found it somewhere. I don't know where. She's had it for a while. It is in very rough shape. The, uh, the binding is completely gone. The pages are all loose. Um, they're no longer in the right order, and they're not numbered. Oh, my God. How can you not number the pages in a yearbook? But there are some absolutely wonderful images in here. And so what I thought I would do is go through some of them scan them in and put them up as freebies for you. So what I have done, and I'm going to show you the pages and then um, the link will be down below. You can get this free off my co coffee shop, Kofi, ko-fi.com. And um, I'll put the link down below and where you can get these. And I just thought maybe you'd like to play with them and have a good time. We're going to play with them a little bit today. Um, I will tell you that your printing settings matter. Th this was; These are two different kinds of paper. This is a heavy cardstock, and this is regular computer paper. And for some reason, when I print on regular computer paper, it does not come out as dark. I'm having a little trouble with my settings on my printer, but I just wanted you to see that you can print it a couple different ways. And I'm not, I'm sure I will say this more than once. Play around with your printer and see what you come up with. This one I printed differently. So I ended up with a top and a bottom border. But um, again, I was playing with my print settings. This one my husband printed off of his printer. Um, and he printed it full size because I asked him to just print it. I wanted to see the quality that his printer came up with. And I actually kind of like it. It's a, it's a, a different kind of print. So then what I did was I took two. This is one file and that's a separate file. And I took them into PowerPoint and put them on one page because I wanted to show you, you can play around with the sizes on these. Have fun with these images. They are in the public domain. These are 1894 photographs or ads. You can do whatever you want with them. So play with the sizes. Have a good time. Uh, I did that again with this one. That's that Hotel Champlain one. Here's the shop look and loosen. I love this one. The shortcut to pr propriety. The danger was stop, look, and listen. The prosperity sign is shop, look, and loosen. And this is from the Acme Press with the telephone number of 4-7140. I, I, that was just a card that was in here. I might be able to find the card. I probably should have had it out. Let me see if I can find the card in the book. Uh, it was just in here, and I don't know where it is. I'll find it later. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It's just a card. And I thought it was great. And I love this Illustrators. This is Albany Engraving Company in the National Express Building. Those of you who live in Albany, New York, that probably means something to you. Uh, but I love this picture because she's looking in the mirror so you see her reflection. That is such a cool piece. Now, this one, again, these are some of the people who were there. And again... I printed it on different ways. Um, this was just a regular print, and it came out very, very light. So I printed it a second time using different settings and a slightly different paper, and I like how it came out much better. These are three of the people who worked in the high school. Grace Klugman was the superintendent stenographer, and I don't know if you can see it on here. I'm going to bring it up. She has a little curl in the middle of her forehead. I love it. Do you remember that nursery rhyme? There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. 
And when she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. I remember that from nursery rhyme from when I was a kid. But there's Agnes O'Malley, who was uh, in stenography, and Frances Prentice, who was the librarian. And then uh, a couple of other people. And I, I took these three particularly because of Ida. Ida Winnie is a woman teaching mathematics. You go, girl. 1894, a woman in mathematics. And there she is. Margaret Overton uh, taught physical culture. I'm not sure what that meant. And Florence Horn taught Latin and German. And they were all on the same page. So I, I did it like this, and I figured you could cut them out and use them however you want. And I didn't want the men to be completely, you know, forgotten. Besides which, you got to just love their mustaches. Thomas Dwyer, he was the superintendent of the buildings, which meant he was in charge of maintenance. John Gannon, who is, my glory, what a handsome man. He was the clerk for the school board in Edward Futterer, was the director of music in the primary and the grammar schools. Primary would have been the, the early grades, I think up through grade two or three. And then the grammar schools would have been four, five, six, maybe seven and eight. And then the high schools, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So anyway, we have all of these and I thought today I would do something with them. And I wanna go back to these two pages that are <coughs> Excuse me, got that one. <coughs> and where'd the other one go? I have another one. Where's my star? Did I forget a page? Hang on, I might have missed a page. Nope, there it is. There it is. I want the star bakery. I love that star. I think that is absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to cut off, actually, no, I'm not going to cut them off because I want them to be the same size roughly. So let's see how we do here. Um, let's go with these guys. No, nope, I want these, the, the heavy duty. Sorry, changing my mind. And what I'm going to do is cut them down this way. And then, oh, I haven't shown you my new toy. I have a scoreboard. Um, I just got this and I'm very excited about it because now I can do the score. Um, actually it doesn't matter where I do this as long as I line it up and I'm level because I'm just going to go down this line. I'm just going to score it. Now I went down mountains become valleys. So it goes this way. So that way. And then I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to do the same thing. If you don't have a scoreboard, don't worry about it. Just fold it. You'll be fine. I'm just playing with it because it's brand new and it's a new toy. Okay. So now I have two pieces to go that way. And then I want, not that one. Where's my other one? There it is. I'm going to cut this one. This one actually has a cutter as well. I have not used the cutter on it. So let's give it a shot. I don't know where the line to cut is. Okay, I guess it's there. Okay, we're playing. Let's see if this works. Okay. And because these are thin, I'm not going to use the, the scoreboard for it. I'll just set that aside. And fold it in half. There we go. And where's my other one? Fold it in half. Okay, there. So now I have a little booklet. Now I did not print these double-sided. You absolutely can. There's no reason why you can't. Um, in fact, I think what I'm gonna do is put the ones that are on the thinner paper in the middle. Okay, now I have all of these guys to play with. And I think I'm going to take our little girl with the curl and let's bring her over here. I don't know if I want her name or not yet, so I'm going to leave her name on there for the moment. You'll notice my paper is faded. 
that's because I had some of this paper that had is really old and it had gotten very messy. So I decided to go ahead and use it as my printing for this. So now I have a piece that's kind of this faded. I can use it for something else. Okay, Grace. Let's take off that top just a little bit. And let's get you and your curl into this booklet somehow. Now, there's no, because these are black and white Im images, there isn't a lot of color going on. I almost like her right over the ad. Because that's sanitary and plumbing. But I think what we'll do is put her over here instead. Or we could put her up top as a flip up. Okay. Obviously, I haven't really thought this through how I want to do this. Um, let's So let's just create. Let's just create. What else do we have here? Um, I have some other types of tickets. I picked out some black and white things. I know you're not black and white. Um, so I have a piece of music here. I have, that looks like just an ad. I've got a blank label. Let's go back to the piece. Of, oh, here we go. Here we go. Piece of music that goes this way. Where's my music teacher? My, I, I, should, I definitely need to put this on my music teacher. Okay, so we got Grace to a what? Okay, we'll save that out. We'll figure out what to do with it in a bit. I have some color pieces that might add a little bit of color to it. Um, but these are all numbers. Ooh, five cents. There we go. You need a five cents. I'll put you up there. That's, you know, oh, and the other thing that you can do with these, which I haven't done, they're pretty vintage already, but if you wanted to darken the edges, and this really just gives it another layer of color. Come on, Grace. Let's darken your edges up so you look more like you do in the book on faded paper. Um, I won't ever use those books. The, the I'll never cut those books up. They're just, they're too, there's a lot of history there. Um, although I am not from Albany, it is just something that I would never, never cut up. Okay, she needs a background. She needs a frame or a background. Um, I'm going to put her like she's the owner of this book. There we go. She is the owner of this book. This is Grace's book. Grace was my mom, my grandmother's maiden, uh, name. Uh, okay. And I have a niece by the name of Grace. I want to put something behind her. A little bit of color. What color is Grace? Grace is not gray. Grace needs some oomph to her. Hang on, I'll be right back. Well, that didn't take long at all. So I was thinking about my grandmother and, you know, the colors that my grandmother wore. And what, so what color might this Grace wear? And I opened up my blue box because my grandmother wore, it was the type, you know, she had the old kind of dresses. Let me get that whole thing there. Um, she wore dress. I, I never saw her in jeans except for once when we went camping. Um, as a family, we took my grandparents camping down to Allegheny State Park. Why we were camping with them, I have no idea. But it was the only time and the first time I'd ever seen my grandmother in slacks. Not jeans, slacks. It was very, very bizarre. Okay, I am looking for my glue book, which I know is around here somewhere. 
Okay. Really? It has disappeared. Hang on. Found it. I put it underneath. <laughs> it was underneath the pictures. Okay. So let's glue up this picture of Grace. Yeah, I loved, I had, my mom's mom died when I was only 11 months old, so I never knew her. But um, my dad's mom was absolutely wonderful. She was the best grandmother you could ever want. She was amazing. So Grandma Frawley, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. There we go. We'll put Grace right here. We have framed her up. And now we will, I might not be on camera, but I'm only gluing. So it's not a big deal. There we go. We'll glue Grace up. And I got a little on her picture, but that's all right. We'll get it off. This is starting to glop which and it doesn't do that till I get to the end of a stick so I think I'm getting close to the end of my stick there we go so we'll put grease in there and I definitely want to put five cents on here now what I want to do if debating it I think I want to take a minute I'm going to come back I'm going to go ahead and um distress all around these pages be right back okay I am back I have distressed all of the pages and um, so she set, and this page is set. I went ahead and put the five cents on there. I think I want to, I'll do something more with it, but I don't know what yet. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I have all of these really cool, um, these are from the Paper Outpost. And there are other ads, but they're this one. It, they're hard. They're, they're I, I did these on the the. Um, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, this one's bigger. That's what I want. I, this one's even bigger. Cardstock. I did these on a heavier cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there because I want to be able to do a little. Um, tag a little place to put something if I want to put something in there so we'll go ahead and do that up and then I'm just going to use a little bit of fabric tag not much put my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing I just washed my hair so my glass I wear my glasses on the top of my head um, in case you haven't figured that out yet they are always up on top of my head because these glasses, the, the ones that I'm currently wearing are specifically for close-up work. They're bifocals. And the top part is for computer work. So I only wear these around here because if I try to wear them anywhere else, I can't see anything. I walk through the house. If I try to walk through the house with these on, I'm bumping into things all over the place. It's snowing. I am filming this on Sunday, and we are expecting a little bit of snow, but it it was it's really kind of snaining. It's a little bit of snow. It's a little bit of rain. Okay, so now I have a little place where I can, you know, put another card or something in there. Isn't that cool? Okay. Number 16 James Street, Albany, New York. And this is a stationary book binding and printing of all kinds at low prices. And I know exactly what I want to get out for that. I am in the process of putting together some stuff, some kits to go to my retreat this weekend. One of them is on making books or making a, a book binding thingy. That's too big. Um, I have all of these. That's kind of cool, but that's also very big. I must have a little one here somewhere. 
that's smaller still too big let me find a small sticker what are you well you're pretty but you don't quite fit oh here we go and that one might be too modern that one's not too bad problem is i don't want to cover up my book people and my my the fact that it says book, oh there we go it says library it's a possibility i like this one dl van antwerp stationary blank books book binding and printing of all kinds at low prices i'm going to be printing this one again and putting it in to put into my new my new book um book piece here we go. Well, we might take up number 16, James Street. Trying to see if this has a side. Oh, you know what? Here we go. This is ripped. I don't know where I got this image. I'll have to look it up. But we're going to rip it. We're going to rip down here. There we go. And let's do up those edges. I think I want to rip the bottom a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to rip the bottom just a little bit. Which means, of course, we have to rip the top because it would look silly otherwise. So we'll take a little off the top. No, it goes this way. I don't think I want to put them right down there. All right. Give me my glue stick. I did it again. I keep leaving the top off my Fabri-Tac. Then it hardens. <clears throat> then I got to pull it off again. Okay, so this is just showing you some things that you can do with this freebie. Um, I'm not going to make the whole booklet because it'll take too long. And you don't necessarily want to spend that much time here. You probably want to get off and start doing your doing your own thing. So, but this gives you an idea of something that you can do with it. Um, I put her there, but and you have all of these other pieces to play with. So make sure you do you get your download. I have capped it at I think 600 downloads. Um, and just a note, there are two other freebies on my coffee site, coffee site, and I still don't know how to pronounce that. Just so you know that those are capped at 200. Once the first 200 have been gone, they will still be available, but there will be a price on them. I think it's only going to be a dollar, but it's still, um, they're free for the first 200. Because this is a gift for my subscribers, it is much, much more. And so you guys have, uh, I think, I think 600 subscribers. I can't remember if I put five or 600 on it. Um, I think I, I don't know. I don't know. So in any case, go get your freebie, play around with it. And then if you have a picture or a video or something, make sure you, you let me know, go to my Facebook page and, and post it. Let me know what you come up with. I would love to see what you do. Um, I will in fact put a post on my, on the Facebook page specifically for the freebies so that you can post pictures and, and uh, links to any videos that you make using all of these images. Keep in mind they are public domain so you can do really what you want with them. And uh, like I said, print them out different ways. Don't feel you have to print them just one way. Play around with your printer, printer settings, and see what you come up with. All right, till later. This is Cindy saying thank you for subscribing and signing off.